So, how was your weekend? Ten fights, six finishes, and two new champions. That was the historic night that was Octagon 50, and this is Octagon Hype. Brian Lacey here, and what a weekend it was in Ostrovar. It might have been minus five outside the arena. Hey, sorry, what song are you sing? Ostravo by Eric. Ostravo, Ostravo, But the Octagon cage was on fire for the Golden Jubilee event. Performance of the night went to Ronald Ronnie Paradiso, who broke his curse in title fights, beating Ivan Buckinger to claim the lightweight title. Bookinger did show the heart of a champion over three rounds, but Paradisa's striking caused a lot of damage, including a nasty split lip that eventually led to the corner and Attila Vey calling a stop to the fight at the end of round number three. If you are a little squeamish, then you might want to turn away now. The heart that Bookinger had to show in that fight in the first round. That brought the end to the fight between rounds and brought the moment Ronnie Paradisa had dreamed of for years. So there you go, people, living proof that if at first you don't succeed, then just keep punching people in the face. <laughs> Next, we saw the featherweight title fight between two of the best young fighters on the planet in Nico Samsonidze and Lozen Keita. And just to give you a taste of the star power of Keita, check out this walkout. A young man from Belgium headlining a card in the Czech Republic, and he had the arena on their feet. Keita. So you know you've got star power when someone writes a walkout song specifically for you. This is what we call in the industry a banger. I mean, it wouldn't work if you had a terrible old man's name like Brian. 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 Brian, enough of the silliness because the fight was all business. Nico had a good, impressive start to the first round, including a big takedown, but that might have made Keita a little mad as in round two, it took just 23 seconds to do this. I feel like the energy changed at the end of that first round. I feel like Losen felt something and he really, really started to go for it. I also think he wanted something back, right? It's, it doesn't feel good being on your back with someone almost passing your guard, and he likes to be the alpha. Yeah, the intensity, the, the, the alpha, that's a good word, the intensity, he came forward, it really changed. Nice oh! body kick. And oh, he he's dropped him! He's dropped him that's huge! It. That is it! Lozen Keita silences Nico Samsonici and raises the roof! A huge finish and the strike that started it all was a kick to the midsection with the leg that he broke just 133 days before fighting for the very same title. It was incredible and emotional as you can see from Keita's reaction. Is it? Lose it, Keita! Silences Nico Samsonici and raises the roof on this crowd in Ostrava. Absolute superstar. 2023 was a year of lows and ending on a high for the Belgian superstar. We will have to wait to see what 2024 holds for the featherweight champion. champion Lozen, Black Panther, Keita. Another man who came back from injury was Mate Mane Peña's recovery from a nasty dislocated elbow in training kept him away from competing for almost a year. On his return, he faced the Norwegian Oli Magna and he showed he was back to his best. Oh, he's rocked. Against he's rocked. Money, he's done. That is it. Mane Peñas is back inside 30 seconds. He announces himself back in the middleweight division. 29 seconds after a quick night's work, Peñas seemed ready to go again, and he already had a date and an opponent in mind. Newcastle. Bonner mentioned wanting this fight on last week's show. Peñas has just delivered us an early Christmas present as I can officially announce that this fight has been signed and agreed for Newcastle on January 27th. This is a fight that will join the already announced fights that include Magard versus Cartwright, Powash versus Austin and Menga versus Sohoto plus more. So you can grab your tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. Octagon 50 wasn't the only huge event to go down in Ostrava. On the Friday night, we had the Octagon Time press conference. The annual 
video press conference where Pavel and Andre reveal some of the plans for the next 12 months. Over 1,500 people joined us for the conference and alongside seeing some of the biggest stars in Octagon answer questions and face off ahead of their fights, we also got news that Octagon will now have an official pound for pound rankings and here are the current top 10. Middleweight champion Kinsella is proudly sitting at the top of this row of killers closely followed by Vimola, Moel and Delista. but this was announced on the Friday so Cater will have moved up in the rankings and Ronnie Paradis's big win and claiming the title will also see him enter the pound for pound rankings. We also, we also got the first look at the Game Changer trophy and isn't she pretty? Bojan Velickovic and Andreas Mikolidis will battle it out to see who will win the Game Changer tournament in the final at Octagon 51 on December 29th in Prague and also to see who will claim that beautiful 25 kilograms of handcrafted blown glass. But it does beg the question as most airlines only allow 23 kilograms of baggage how the hell are they going to get it home? Now, if you have been a fan of the Tip Sport Game Changer this year, then you will be very glad to hear that it was also announced at the Octagon Time press conference that there will be a second tournament in 2024, and this time in the lightweight division. And the prize, the prize will not just be for one million, no. This time, Tip Sport are putting up not one, but two million euros in prize money. And you want to hear a twist? 1 million will be for the fighters in the tournament and the second million will be for you, the fans. Wait, did, did, did I just hear myself correctly? Re rewind that. And the second million will be for you, the fans. Yep, yep, I thought that's what I said. And if you want to find out how you could win your share of that 1 million, then follow us on social media because more information is to follow. Pavel and Andre also announced 12 of the fighters that will be part of this 1 million euro tip sport game changer lightweight tournament. Look who is coming to Octagon. Firstly, we've got some well-known names. Lengal is making the move up to lightweight. We've got Octagon's first ever lightweight champion in Poland's Ligurski. Germany has two entries. Derszka will be in the tournament. Grabinski, who was in the welterweight bracket, is now entering again at his preferred weight of 70 kilograms. Former KSW champion Torres is in. Former UFC star Finland's Makwan Amikani is in. And the current UK hopes lie with the Jedi Akon 1 list. And look, Look at this, Ronald Paradisa, the lightweight champion, is also in the mix. More names are yet to be announced, but we also know where this is going to start. And there is no other place for it to start, but back in Ostrava, March 2nd, the Tip Sport Game Changer Season 2 will get underway. Ostrava also brought together Jonas Magard and Jack Cartwright for the press conference and for a face-to-face -face sit down. Now, I am guessing, I'm just guessing, I don't think these guys like each other very much. If you're going to be the Shut face up, Jonas. of Shut UK up, Jonas. MMA, it's an obvious up, face Jonas. they could choose. Jonas, you're boring. Shut up, you're boring. One shot, when I hit you, bro, your ass will go. Diving for double. I'm telling you right now, so I can't wait to get an order. That fiery face-off will be released in all its glory on Sunday, and you can check it out on the Octagon UK and Ireland YouTube channel. That is almost it for 2023. Just one more tournament left, Octagon 51, and that will go down December 29th. And that is how we are seeing this year out with a bang. Just look at the card. Topping the card, Kinsel versus Chepo for the middleweight title. We have the final of the tip sport game changer, Bojan Velickovic versus Andreas Mikolidis. And we will see old rivals lock horns once again as Vimola takes on Kristofic. You can watch it live on Channel 4 The Zone or Octagon.tv. That is it from me this side of Christmas. Be sure to gift someone Octagon and grab your tickets for Newcastle January 27th. Follow Octagon on social media and follow me at Brian Lacey MMA. Happy holidays, people. Mwah.